my favorite people. <laughs> All right. What's up? Bob gets the first yeah. question. Bobby. Bang. Oh, that one. Oh, All right. What's what's been the toughest part about the last two weeks? Uh, sitting out. You know, not not being a part of your your normal routine. Um, you know, it's, it's it's unfortunate, but I tried to play. Um, uh, a part, a different part of the team that I was uh, in, in the driving aspect and, and being there for, for the race and, and helping John Hunter try to, you know, get the feel that he needed uh, for practice qualifying and, and, and the race. And, and so um, just sitting out and not, not being a part of your normal routine is tough to Jeff Clark, go ahead. Did you think that the penalty was fair? Did you agree with the, what the outcome was? Yeah, I mean, I, I totally accept the, the penalty and, and the repercussions that came from my actions. Um, I talked to uh, O'Donnell and I talked to Phelps and I said, hey, I'm, I'm good with, with being the example is if we can keep this consistent moving forward because it's happened multiple, multiple times this year and uh, it's something that may still continue to happen you know, for other drivers down the road. You know, I've definitely learned my lesson, um, but we have to be consistent with this uh, no matter if it's here at Martinsville or if it's at you know at Daytona or Talladega. we got to keep it consistent across all the boards and all the series. So that's, that was a conversation. It was a good conversation. Claire, go ahead. What did you learn during this time? How hard was it on you? How hard was it that your name wasn't on the door of the yeah. car? Yeah. And what penalty did you get from your team? And how difficult was it? No, it was, it was tough. I mean, sitting there watching that, I, I tweeted out Humble Pie. I mean, I hated not being in that race and knew we, you know, we were excited. That was like one of those races that was circled on the schedule, right? Uh, our Toyotas have been really strong at the mile and a half stuff. So really love running Homestead. So I, I was bummed, you know, legit bummed that I, I wasn't racing, but I had to Put that aside and still help the team go out and grow and, and continue to, to gain speed with with those two drivers so um you know what have i learned you know i got to think before you do and and you know in, in this sport you, you it's a heat of the moment type things that, that get to you so seeing that going back and looking from a ten thousand foot view um you know definitely could have handled everything uh way different and i've uh, been in a different spot i put i put myself in a bad light i put our team in a, in a bad light our sponsors it's just uh, something that I'm not proud of, um, but you know, moving on, moving forward, you, you, uh, you're not allowed to make that mistake again. Additional penalty from the team? Did they penalize you additionally? Um, just mad at me. It's fine. So just have to uh, just have to go out and get back on the horse and and go out and compete. And you know, I think we have a really good shot for this weekend at moving forward, um, moving forward, and and just getting this all behind us. Yeah. What was the conversations like with Danny, with Michael uh, on that Monday, Tuesday, as this was kind of working through it? Yeah, they were they were understanding of, of the, the heat of the moment type things, but they were very adamant on how we need to handle those five seconds later. You know, you need to think, like I said earlier, think before you do. Uh, that was the biggest thing, but, you know, they still support me, and, and we're here, and uh, we just got to go out and, and continue to build this team up. Lee? Does this make you more determined? I mean, not that drivers aren't determined, but, you know, does this kind of give you a little bump going forward? Yeah, I mean, I haven't lost the, the edge that we've been on. I, I hate that, you know, the, the second half of our season has been really, really strong, uh, the best of my career. And now I've kind of put this uh, black light over over that with this with this deal last week, and I hate that because we still have the momentum on our side and, and uh, still a lot of things to do and, and excited to be back at the track with the team here. we got Lidos in our car, great track force here at Munzil. There's a lot of good things going into this weekend, so I'm not coming back with like a vengeance or anything. It's just it's going to continue to do what we've been doing. Uh, and for the record, I have talked to Larson. We had a great conversation uh, this week, and I think uh, the best thing for us is we both understood where our frustrations were. Uh, and moving forward and how we both can handle those situations better. All right, guys. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. This is Timmy Hill, driver of the 56 Toyota. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those videos beside me and visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.